This was always about the future when we took this endeavor on. It was always about stabilizing this property and turning it into an asset for the county. Shopping town plans taking shape. New ownership and blueprints revealed for the abandoned mall. From WSYR TV Syracuse, the local station, you're watching News Channel 9 at 5 o'clock. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. Christy is off tonight. And they're the designs the community has been waiting for. What would Shopping Town Mall look like in the future, as the county executive says? Well, those are now in the possession of a new developer, that mall property. We're getting our first look, and here it is, at what's being called District East, an indoor and outdoor complex giving the feel of a neighborhood of green spaces, fountains, restaurants, stores, housing for rent or to buy, and even the missed movie theater. This is the vision of the group awarded the project today by Onondaga County. News Channel Lions Andrew Donovan live at Shopping Town Mall for us tonight. Andrew, it's the start of the process, of course, but we all want to know when does the transformation actually get started? Well, and Jeff, the people asking that question more often are the people who have to see the eyesore of some parts of the mall, like this parking garage and people want to know when will construction begin while well, the developer warns those people that it might not start for more than a year considering all the time needed to finalize a contract with the county regarding tax breaks finalize detailed blueprints and then get town approval and then actually start construction so any kind of work in 2021 or even 2022 he calls overly ambitious but this development group knows what they're doing they have experience working together it's one group made up of four different companies redev cny who will be the developer huber brewer will do construction del pas architects on design and housing visions each company with its own appropriate specialty now the group has been awarded the project the county will negotiate the contract for sale but today the focus was on really getting arms around what this project what the property will eventually look like. It'll be a palpable beauty that you can, you know, walk up and touch the water and, and, and you know, this isn't just a retail store. This is so much bigger than just retail. This is about establishing and creating uh, a beautiful space that people can take pride in uh, to both live, work, and play. While well, the exact tax break details are still being negotiated, the developers have agreed to pay Onondaga County $8 million for this property. Some of that money will go to the old owners, but the county will get about $7 million, and that will cover the amount that the county spent to acquire the property in the first place and cover all of the back taxes that were never paid by the previous owner. Live in Dwight, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9.